And so he referenced the scripture that said we're able ministers of the New Testament. And we are. Right. But what does that mean? It's just like if I pre-ordered something just because I pre-ordered it doesn't mean it already arrived. All right, Shalom, Shalom. We we'll give our praise of an hour. Yah, Bashim, Shalak, Yahushah, Bashim, Kakudash. Which is our praise to the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Heavenly Son, through His glorious Holy Spirit. Peace and bless all the blood ones baptized in the New Testament for the remission of sins. So, he referenced the scripture that said we're able ministers of the New Testament, and we are, right? But what does that mean? It's just like if I pre-ordered something, just because I pre-ordered it, doesn't mean it already arrived. That's insane, bro. That is insane, my brother. That is insane, my brother. How can you say it hasn't arrived when you claim you drink that blood every Passover uh, you you so-called celebrate? You do it and, and drink that blood and claim that Christ is your Passover. How can you claim Christ is your Passover if it hasn't arrived, brother? Doesn't make any sense, blood one. You know what I'm saying? You saying that the New Testament hasn't arrived is like saying the blood ha wasn't shed. You know, that's like saying the old covenant didn't start when we already had the blood on our doorpost, bro. It doesn't make any sense, brother. All right? It's it's crazy, bro, beloved one. Even AI knows that the blood of the lamb is the new covenant, man. All right? It says AI overview. In the New Testament, the blood of the new covenant refers to the blood of Jesus Christ, right? Hamashiach, right? Which was shared to establish a new agreement between God and humanity. So the, 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 it, the blood was already shared to establish the New Testament. It's not going to be uh, shared again, Gorilla Hebrew. There's going to be no more uh, uh, time. Hamashiach's not getting back on the cross again, blood one. To, for remission of sins It's not happening Matthew 26 and 28 Jesus said this is my blood You're saying that it hasn't arrived This is my blood Of the New Testament Which is shed for many for the remission of sins So you're saying that we can't have Remission of sins that hasn't arrived And that you can't be forgiven So he referenced the scripture that said we're able ministers of the New Testament. And we are, right? But what does that mean? It's just like if I pre-ordered something, just because I pre-ordered it doesn't mean it already arrived. John chapter 6, verse 53. Then Jesus, Mashiach, said unto them, Verily, verily, which means truly, truly, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. So... How is that? How is how can we drink the blood if you if you're saying it hasn't arrived? How can you drink the blood of the New Testament if you say it, it hasn't arrived yet, man? The scripture says you have no life in you, man. You're dead in your trespasses and sins. You're not covered by the uh, blood of the Lamb. The, door, the blood is not upon your on your doorpost, post, because you saying that uh, it's been pre-ordered and it hasn't arrived. You got to be careful with your words, Gorilla Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? I got love for you, brother, and I pray that you repent and accept the blood of the Lamb as the new covenant. You got to believe in that. See, you can believe in all that deep stuff and, you know, all the breakdowns, Daniel 11, Ak, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Deuteronomy 28, you can break down the curses. You go into the 12 tribes and all that. But that don't mean nothing if you can't believe in the blood, that the blood is this new covenant. All that is vain. See that? All the debates, you know, top debate, uh, you know, thousands of subscribers, you know, views, uh, merchandise, selling merch, beloved one. It's all vain if you don't have the blood of the lamb arriving for you, beloved one. It has to arrive. All right. You can't be waiting for uh, the blood of the lamb to come later, beloved one. You're saying that it hasn't arrived. So you can't call yourself a minister of the New Testament if you don't even if, if you don't have nothing, if you can't even uh, serve. Uh, and minister the blood if you're saying it hasn't arrived how can you be a servant of the, of the new covenant because what we're serving you is what the blood of the lamb all right in his flesh and his uh, in his blood man the bread of life man that's what we're serving you you can't do that if you're saying it hasn't arrived bro john 6 and 55 for my flesh 
is meat indeed, right? His flesh is the word of God. You saying the word, so you basically saying the word of God ain't, ain't arrived, bro. And my blood is drink indeed. So we're able to drink his blood right now, bro. We don't got to wait for another prophecy or wait for a future or wait to be delivered out of the, uh, from among the Gentiles for the blood to be established. It's for it to start by the establishment of that blood, bro. We don't have to wait for, oh, it's been pre-ordered and we're waiting for it. No. And you talking about the marriage and all that, we not, bro, we already uh, been a spouse to the Lord. All right. We already married to the beloved one. We already in covenant through this, through his blood. All right. You just waiting for the ceremony, man. You waiting for the party to be in the new covenant. Just like people in the world don't believe uh, somebody, you know what I'm saying, is uh, one unless they had a, a party. See that? So we're already in covenant with the Lord, man. We're already drinking that blood. It's already arrived, bro. So he referenced the scripture that said we're able ministers of the New Testament. And we are. Right? But what does that mean? It's just like if I pre-ordered something, just because I pre-ordered it, doesn't mean it already arrived. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13. But now, but what? But now, no, Ike, it hasn't arrived. But now in Christ Jesus, Mashiach, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. So the blood of Christ has been established for this New Testament, which makes us nigh unto God, man. So, he referenced the scripture that said we're able ministers of the New Testament, and we are, right? But what does that mean? It's just like if I pre-ordered something just because i pre-ordered it doesn't mean it already arrived but now the righteousness but what but now the righteousness of god no no it hasn't arrived yet we just pre-ordered it brother but now the righteousness of god without the law is manifested is what is manifested so gorilla hebrew the scripture says it's already been manifested. It already arrived, brother. We not pre-ordering and waiting for it. All right. Being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ and my shock, Yahweh unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no so, difference. He referenced the scripture that said we're able ministers of the New Testament, and we are, right? But what does that mean? It's just like if I pre-ordered something just because i pre-ordered it doesn't mean it already arrived romans chapter 3 verse 25 whom god have set forth to be appropriation through faith in his blood so you have to have faith that his blood uh brings you into the new testament to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins see that that's what blots your sins out the blood huh that are past through the forbearance of God to declare, I say at this time. So this is being declared at this time, bro. Not, uh, we got to pre-order it and wait for it to arrive, bro. The scripture says to declare at this time his righteousness, man. To declare, I say at this time, not a uh, pre-order. Uh, we got to wait for it to arrive, gorilla. To declare, I say at this time, his righteousness is declared through the blood right now. That he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Mashiach, man. So that's what we minister into what? Those that might not believe in the new covenant. That they, that they can come into this covenant and be a part of that wedding, man. All right? And, and, and be a part of this covenant of him who believe in, in Mashiach. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. See that? That boasting is over with. See that? Even, the, the, you know, your greatest man is, is starting to look like bug outs now. So they can't boast in, in the old covenant. Right? By what law? Of works? See that? By 613 laws, Ock? By, <laughs> you know, how many uh, uh, laws you think you can keep? Of works? How many uh, videos you upload? How many times you hit the byways? Right? Nay. But by the law of faith, man. This goes by the blood. Having faith in that blood. The blood is, is purified, man. And, and, it, and, and it's declared 
at this time, man. Not pre uh pre-ordered it and we gotta wait for it, man, to arrive. No. We already drinking the blood of the new covenant. We already have the blood for the wedding. All right. So if we have the blood already for the wedding, that means we already married, bro. Just like in the old covenant, if you had the blood on the cloth already, that means you already y'all were already won. So you just bugging out on the you just bugging out on a ceremony, man. That's what you bugging out on. You waiting for the ceremony for you to say that you married, man. That's crazy. The blood has already been shed. So the blood is already there. See that? Ain't gonna be no other blood for the wedding. All right? Just like in the, in the law, you're supposed to have blood on the, on the cloth and all that. Well, guess what? The blood has already been shed, baby. All right? And we have faith in that blood. All right? So, uh, Shalom. So, he referenced the scripture that said we're able ministers of the New Testament. And we are. Right? But what does that mean? It's just like if I pre-ordered something, just because I pre-ordered it doesn't mean it already arrived. Daniel chapter 12, verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the but the wise shall understand, man. So, according to the prophecies in Daniel, beloved ones, we're going to be made white and purified before Michael the Archangel comes back, beloved ones. Before Michael comes back with the uh, angel, elect angels. Beloveds are being made, pure, uh, made white. That's through the blood of the Lamb. Showing you the blood of the lamb has already been what? Uh, established. It's already established before we even get physically delivered. All right. The kingdom of heaven is within you. All right. And you're made white and you're purified by his blood. See that? That's the that's why the scripture says we were made. We were perfect by that one sacrifice. Revelation chapter seven, verse 14. It says they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. So it's the blood of the lamb that's going to save us. That's the new covenant. You have to have faith in it, man. That's the most important thing in the Bible, man. All right, the blood of the lamb. All right. And and loving the Lord God your, with all your heart and loving your neighbor. All right, so this is talking about when the beloveds get delivered. For what? Having their garments and robes made white through the blood of the lamb they were made white and purified like the scripture says many shall be purified and made white these are the ones that's gonna get delivered through the new covenant see that's where salvation is man you should be worried about salvation and things that's gonna get you saved and it's that new covenant blood man all right all that other stuff ain't gonna save you man knowing uh debates and negro only doctrines and Microchips, robot dogs, uh, selling merchandise. You know, hit my, hit my, hit my, uh, <laughs> hit my cash app. That stuff ain't gonna save you, beloved. You gotta worry about this new covenant blood, man. That's what you should be focusing on, man. All right.